Hello and welcome to this new playlist on SAP and Power Platform here on the SAP on Azure YouTube channel. This is the first video and hopefully lots of more short quick bites that talk about anything related to SAP, Microsoft and low code. The goal is to address different aspects on how you can use low code solutions like obviously the Power Platform to connect and innovate with your SAP and Microsoft systems. Inspired by the recent low-code February, where Microsoft and the community created a lot of focus on using the Power Platform in different ways, I want to put the spotlight on different short scenarios of Power Platform and SAP. Along the way, we will talk about BAPIs, RFCs, or data services, API management, security, single sign-on, but obviously also the SAP Business Technology Platform, SAP Build, SAP Integration Suite, and lots of other tools. In this first video, I want to set the stage and build the first very simple app that connects to an SAP system using one of the multiple connectors. In subsequent videos, I want to show you how to get access to these systems, how you can build your own scenario and what different options are available. So let's take a look. We'll start in Power Automate and create a custom connector that allows us to connect to an SAP or data service. So we'll do this directly here from GitHub. Um, there's a custom connector available an SAP O data custom connector, which we can just leverage as is. So all the settings for security definition are all fine. So we can just click on create connector and this connector will allow us to connect to an SAP demo system. Now that the custom connector is created, let's head over to power apps. In Power App, we want to create a simple blank app. So I'll just select here the Canvas app and click on Create. We'll provide it um, with a name, Fetch Fetch Business Partner. We'll use a phone style and click on Create. Now we'll add a header here. So we'll just use a simple rectangle. Gift as a name. And then add an icon to fetch and reload information from the SAP system. Now, when someone clicks this item, we want to call our connector. So here in the um, connectors, we can just search for our data and we can see the custom connector that we just created. When connecting to this um, connector, we need to provide a username, name and password and click on connect. Now we need to link this button here with our custom connector. So what we'll do is here on this on select method, we'll just type in clear collect We'll put the results in a collection called Z Business Partner, and we'll retrieve the information from our SAP OData sample connector. The sample connector provides me with a list of business partners. We can just take the results of this specific list um, and make it available into our business partner collection. With this information, we can now create a gallery that displays all the business partner information coming from the SAP system. So we'll link this gallery to our Z business partner collection. We'll select here a new layout with title, subtitles and bodies. And we'll map the properties from our SAP system to these um, fields here. So for the title, we'll select the company name. For the subtitle, we'll select um, the business partner ID and for the body, we'll take the address information, all coming from the SAP system. Now, the cool thing is I can immediately here in its editor, click on this refresh button and I get the information back from the SAP system. So with this, I can just um, resize the gallery and I can actually already test this Power App directly here in the browser. 